Hey guys, so today I'm back with another video, as I promised, on the book The Bates Method, Better Eyesight Without Glasses. This book is written by W.H. Bates. Now for those of you who watched my previous video, and yeah, for those who didn't, do click on the link given in the description below to watch it. And for those of you who watched my previous video, you'll know that in that video I told you my story, a little bit about myself. I also said about how I wanted to reach out to people and help them improve their eyesight and remove their glasses with the help of this amazing book that I chanced upon. And I'll also be giving you guys a few tips of my own that help me, that, that are not in the book, that, that help me reduce my own number. Now in today's video, I'll be coming directly to the book, precisely to chapter one, which is just about the theory and the facts. Um, now the thing is that the first chapter is really long and but I feel it's really important too because it's the beginning of the book and it has all the introduction in it. So in this video I'll be covering a lot of the theory and in the next video I'll be discussing the facts along with a technique called simultaneous retinoscopy. So we all know that nature has done and created many miracles and one of them is the human body itself. The human body is in itself a really complex mechanism but then nature is also guilty of some maladjustments here and there. Like the wormiform appendix, which is a loose bit of scaffolding hanging at the end of the cecum, which is a pouch-like structure in the large intestine. And its use and function hasn't been discovered till date. But in a chorus, all ophthalmologists tell us that nature blundered badly in the construction of the eye. Actually, the visual organ of man was never intended for the uses to which it is put to nowadays. Aeons before, when there were no skulls, printing presses, electronic devices, and electronic lights, the evolution of the eye was complete. It was perfect. Because primitive man was mainly a hunter, a herdsman, a farmer, and a fighter. He only needed distant vision in all his activities, and, as we are told, the eye at rest is adjusted for distant vision. So, back then, sight was as passive as breathing or hearing something, and it required no muscular action whatsoever. Near vision, it is assumed, was the exception, and it was for such a short duration that it didn't place any accountable burden on the muscles of the eye. And coming to the women uh, living under primitive conditions, it is said that they had just as good eyesight as the men. Then came the time when man learned to communicate his thoughts in written and printed forms, which definitely put some new demands upon the eye, which at first affected only a few people, but gradually including more and more, until nowadays in the more advanced countries, people over 21, every 9 out of 10 of them have imperfect sight. Whether they wear glasses or they don't, but every 9 out of 10 people have some defective vision. And as the age increases, the, the proportion increases too, until at 40, it is almost impossible to find a person without any visual defect. A few centuries ago, even princes and other nobles weren't taught to read and write. But nowadays, we compel everyone to go to school, whether they like it or they don't. Then, of course, the artificial lighting, which tempts most of us to prolong our working hours way into the night which tires and exhausts our eyes like hell. Even more recently came the moving pictures and the films along with electronic devices and television to complete the destructive process. Now, was it reasonable to expect from nature that she should have produced a perfect organ that could have responded to all the new demands? It is a proven fact that she could not and did not. I'll be ending this video on this note and in the next video, I'll be picking up from this very point. So, please do stay tuned to my channel, and also subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications. And I request you to share this video, because I want to get this out to as many people as possible. So, until my next video, bye-bye!